Anita Evans here for Video Language Network, the unique website for authentic English video lessons. Here at Video Language Network, we believe that improving your English begins by watching and listening to English as it is spoken in the real world. Let's begin our lesson by watching and listening to what Andy, an American living in Geneva, has to say about giving up her career and moving to Europe. Are you ready? Let's watch. Hi, Anita Evans here in Switzerland. We're here today with Andy Hagen, an American expat who has lived in many European countries. Hi, Andy. Hi, Anita. Thanks for joining us today. Well, thanks for inviting me. Andy, was it difficult giving up your career? It was difficult, the thought of it, before I actually did it. But I felt very comfortable that I had achieved what I wanted to in my career. And at that point, I had young children, and I was really missing being with them. So this moving overseas gave us an opportunity to be able to, for me to be home more with the kids and be able to enjoy them growing up. So after I left, I never really missed it <laughs> at all. <laughs> Do you have any regrets? My only regret is that my kids don't get to see their grandparents as much as I would like. But I do feel that the time that they do have with them is such quality time and their appreciation of each other has counterbalanced the negative of it. But I wish that they did have more time. So, how did it go? If you found the interview a challenge to understand, don't worry, this is normal. Let's continue. As many of you may know, I really like talking about two-part verbs. What is a two-part verb? A two-part verb is a verb joined with a preposition to create a new meaning. I asked Andy if it was difficult to give up her career. You may know the verb to give. To give up is a two-part verb, which means to stop doing something or to let something go. Andy gave up her career when she moved to Europe. In other words, she stopped working when she moved to Europe. Many prepositions can be used with the verb give to create a lot of different meanings. I asked Andy if she had any regrets about giving up her career. Let's look at the noun regret. A regret is a feeling of sadness about something and a wish that it could have been different or better. Andy said her only regret is that her kids don't get to see their grandparents as much as she would like. The word regret can also be a verb. For example, we regret that you will not be able to come to our party. Have you ever heard the phrase quality time? This is a very American phrase, which means that when you are with someone, you give them your full attention because you value the relationship and the time you spend together. Andy says that the time her children have with their grandparents, even though it is not a lot, is quality time. In other words, their time together is short but enjoyable. Here's another example. Dad always spends a few hours of quality time with his children on the weekends. We hope you have enjoyed today's mini lesson from Video Language Network. For more free lessons like this one, plus our super expanded version, join us at our website at www.videolanguagenetwork.com. 
At our website, you can also download transcripts, vocabulary aids, and exercises that will help you improve your English language skills. Well, that's all for now. Look for us next time on your local podcast sites. This is Anita Evans for Video Language Network.